Pixie Doll says, Matt, what are some odd signs a guy likes you or is interested? So what are some odd signs? Well, I mean, it kind of depends, right? Like it depends on you as to what's odd, right? So there's a lot of signs that a guy's into you, like signs that a guy's into you is that he'll look at you for a while, right? And some women are like, oh, you know, like, what is that, right? He's, he looks at you. He likes looking at you. He likes being around you. He likes being close to you. He likes to talk to you, right? If I were you, I would just assume that if a guy is trying to hang out with you, if he's trying to be around you, if he's trying to get near you, just assume that he likes you. Just assume it because there's a 90 at least a 90% chance that he's interested if he's trying to hang out with you, at least in something physical, if not something that's deeper. And so you want to assume that he's interested and then just go from a standpoint of, I'm assuming that he's interested. What do I do now? Instead of trying to find signs, right? Because like a lot of guys, especially in the men's dating space, they'll be like, oh, okay, you know, before you try to move forward with a woman, you need to look for these signs, you know, does she primp her hair? Does she, you know, look at you and then look away? Does she, you know, do all these different things? And what guys end up finding when they go out on dates is that women aren't doing a lot of those things, even though they are interested, right? And so you just have to assume that, the person's interested and move forward with it. And if they're not, they'll let you know (laughs) at some point, right? Or they'll stop you or whatever, right? And I mean, obviously being a woman, it's probably, you're, you're probably not kind of moving things forward like a guy would, but you should definitely kind of treat it that way. And if a guy, if you are like, okay, this guy's interested in me and I'm interested in something more, you know, what you want to do is you want to connect with him on the different levels. Like we talked about, you want to set boundaries. You know, if he starts kind of pushing things forward, you want to make sure that there are kind of romantic undertones to the conversations that you're having and the connection that you're having with him. You want to make sure that you're dangling the carrot so that he knows that you're interested in him. 